On today's show, we'll be showing you how to cook Mama's Golden Box of Fish along with the roasted garlic potatoes with cheese. Should be a good show, you guys. Check it out. Fried basa and so they call it potatoes. Yes, and um, you know, a little story because a lot of people do not know about basa. The basa actually, she actually introduced me to basa. I wasn't really a basa eater. I was usually eating whitening because that's what kind of was introduced to me throughout my family. But when she actually discovered basa at Mount Sinai, Mount Sinai, shout out to my Mount Sinai co-workers Antoinette and Latanya. Yeah, introduced me to Basa. Right. And um they used to make it on Friday mornings at the main hospital. And um yeah, they brought it to so our office one day and I was like, what is that? And I'm not a fish eater like that. I just started kind of eating fish. And oh my god, after that day I was hooked. Yeah, I, I told man. Simba, I told everybody, his mom, brother, everybody. And ever since then, we have been eating pasta. Yeah, pasta eaters. I don't think I've had white in at least oh, yeah. six months, maybe. Over that. Over six months, yeah. So, pasta's been the, the go to fish <laughs> lately. So. It's white, it's flaky, it's meaty. Right. Oh my god, it tastes good fried, um, baked, even on the um, pan fried, pan seared. So, mmm. So we're, we're happy to introduce you guys to pasta if you never heard of it. Yes. So, Check it out. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is drain your potatoes. You want to drain your potatoes, get any dirt film off of it. So you make sure you drain them for maybe 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure. And then what we're going to do, we want to coat the pan with olive oil. Make sure you want to coat your pan pretty good so your potatoes won't stick. What we're going to do is Take that and just mess it around a little bit. Make sure you got all areas covered. And then you're gonna add the potatoes. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to kill my editor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, while I'm doing this. I'm going to season them as well. I'm going to cut these down just a little bit. First thing I want to do is season salt. And then I'm going to add some olive oil. And like I always tell you, um, the season is to your discretion. You know, I like mine well seasoned, not over seasoned. Ooh, a little black pepper. Then we're going to do a little garlic. A little paprika. I'm probably still saying it wrong. And just for a little kick, some Cajun season, just for a little kick.
I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic. And then garlic, just a half a teaspoon. Put that on in there. So I um, washed it in cold water and I let it sit in here to dry. I just patted it down. So this is basa. It kind of looks like tilapia. So you could probably get mistaken in, um, in the meat market, the seafood market, but ask them for basa. This is how basa looks, okay? So what I'm gonna use to season, I'm gonna use some ground black pepper, some granulated garlic. I'm gonna use a little bit of curry, which is this number of but I like how I mix it. I'm gonna use some seasoned salt and on some ground paprika. And that's about it. Um Take the curry. You don't need the curry, right? The curry actually gives it a little bit more flavor. But I thought we were making pasta. We are. You're not making goat? <laughs> what are we making? We're making pasta? We're making pasta. Oh, okay, all right. First so of all, he ate this before the last time I cooked it. He didn't even know it was curry in Okay, so you tricked like my mom. Right? All right. Yeah, I tricked him just like his mom tricked him with bacon. Fair game, fair game, fair game. So, I'm going to season. Why don't you... Because I'm going to have a little... Oh, yeah, that's my little batter. Yeah, this is my little batter that we usually um, use to, you know, coat the fish. And what this is, is some yellow cornmeal, lemon pepper, and a whole bunch of other seasonings. Mm -hmm. Little secret there, you feel me? So, that's what she's going to be basing the, um, the basa with. Yeah, so don't season too much on the, right. on the fish. Only because that contains seasoning as well. So I'm not gonna go season a lot. And you see I didn't put salt, only because that cornmeal is a little salty. You see I didn't put that much curry, but it, it adds a little flair. Oh, curry strong. Just curry though. Curry's actually good, but she kind of puts it in everything. <laughs> pancakes. I, I do not put it in pancakes. <laughs> oh, you don't? No. You could have sworn I seen you. You saw me with pancakes? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Curry pancakes? Wrong person. You ain't seen me. That must have been another girl over there. Oh! I ain't got to pick up other girls. What are you talking about? Anyways, yes. I do put curry in a lot of stuff. I put curry in my burgers as well. I put curry kind of like on everything, but I don't like go ex like put in pounds of curry in my stuff. I just a little lightly to give it, you know, the aroma smells so good and sweet, but you know, he's still gonna eat it. So. Oh. I like the basa. Oh, he likes the basa. So now I'm gonna base it in here. Right next to me, you know. I'm just gonna dump this in. So, we're gonna brush this off while in here. We don't want that much of a coating. Sorry, all this grease is flying. Okay, so this is gonna give it a nice coat. We don't want too much on it. I'm just gonna put it in here. I'm so nervous. Chopping. There we go. <laughs> so, try to push everything in. It's best if you don't have a deep fryer or anything, or get a cast iron grill, cast iron, you know, and just let it stay. You're gonna have it like this for about, pray 
five minutes. Five to seven minutes on each side, depending on how you like it. But I like it golden. Okay? So let's just let it sit here for a while. Okay, guys. Now the potatoes are done, as you can see. Kind of soft. That's how I like them. So now we're going to bring them over to the Pyrex pan and we're going to dump it into the Pyrex pan. Here you go, that's what you think so. Dump it right into this Pyrex pan and get a spoon. Mary's going to assist me with the spoon. I think I need it actually, but I still may need it just to push it around and get that in there. Yeah. Get all the good, the bits of the potatoes and onions and such. Now that we have it in the Pyrex, steaming hot, guess what we're gonna do now? We're gonna to top it with some cheese. Some triple cheddar cheese. We love cheese. Love cheese as you can see, right? Put cheese on everything. And we're just gonna sprinkle it all over. Make sure we get all the spots in the potatoes. Make sure the cheese is well covered. Let me just take my hand in there. Go on in. Take my hand in there. It's gonna make it real cheesy. And that cover all areas. And after we cover it with the cheese, we're gonna place it in the oven. That's been preheated for some time now. Could you grab the um, oven for me, please? Sure, sure, because I'm going to grab the oven for you. Appreciate it. Get in the oven, we go. How long do you want it to stay in here? It's staying in here for like 10. It won't be five to 10 minutes. We won't check it out. Okay. Let's see what's going on with it. So, while we're over here, we're gonna flip my box. Okay. Sometimes when handling fish, you see it's popping out. I, I don't like that. But we're gonna flip it. Be careful, guys. Be careful. Okay, I'm scared of the grease. Oh, and you see that? Look at that. Looks all golden. So now I'm going to take this out. So just be mindful because it might fall apart depending on how hard you're cooking it. I'm just gonna let it drain a little bit. Present it over here. Why you got a stomach out? Why you got a stomach out? Oh, ah, then you put some on the other side? No. Hey, so this messing with me. There you go. Like well, that's honestly, the right. this is the this is the top of the fish. Yes, it is the top of the fish. Right. He's been messing with me all day today. I don't know what's on his biscuit or anything like that, but he's been getting oh, nervous. Yeah. Like I don't know. Guess but what's yes, coming up? Though. Guess what's coming up? As well. Oh, that looks good. Yes, the potatoes are low. Yes, low potatoes. yes. Get the parsley. It's parsley here. Shake it. Oh, it's at the top of it. The loaded garlic potatoes. The nicely golden fried basa. Can't beat this meal, man. I'm telling you. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stacking money like this.
Now it's time to taste. I'm sorry. This is my favorite hot sauce. I shouldn't not advertise them, but you got to see the bottle. Yeah, I know what it is. Hot sauce. Yeah, hot sauce. She likes hot sauce. I like a little ketchup on Heinz. That's not too big there. Hot sauce on potatoes. Hot sauce on potatoes. Normally you put hot sauce on everything. Right. Just I like, like it hot. Too. Just just like the curry, right? I like it hot to the point that my nose is running. So that's like yeah. how I like my jerk chicken. That's pretty intense. Huh. Hmm. Yep. Okay, this is good. Mm. Mm. How's the boss? The boss is good. Oh, look. Look at that. Look at how flaky it is. How meaty it is. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. The hot sauce. Yeah. Right. Mm. She got to be here. It's good. Let me try the potatoes. Try the potatoes. Mm. Good. Good. Now, and you wouldn't want to compete with me. Any other day, I will have ketchup on the potatoes. Mm -hmm. I definitely have ketchup on the potatoes, but today I'm gonna look great. I'm thinking about me and Curry. He put ketchup on everything. Like on cheese, everything. Dish. Black eyed peas, we had them. Everything. What? Black eyed peas? What you want black eyed peas? Oh, yes. I spent some of the shots on my mouth for the doctor. You don't have those, right? Well, you don't want to do those. That's why you put curry on everything. Because it's Caribbean, right? My father's Jamaican. Right. Yes. I like it. My mom, my mom is from down south. So, subscribe to our channel. Oh, yeah. Please comment, like. Follow us on Instagram, underscore dose of everything. And then you have our individual Instagrams on that page as well. It's close December. And everyone loves Mara, which is below. Um, yeah, hit that subscribe button, please. Share the video. Share, subscribe. share, share, subscribe. Follow us on IG. Please show us some love, okay?